Altitude Control Technologies is a company that's developed technology for simulating different altitudes. Some of the benefits of having an altitude control system is that we increase the amount of oxygen so that oxygen levels in the blood go up and people don't get the symptoms of altitude sickness of headache and malaise and fatigue and so forth. And many of our clients feel that they sleep much better with a high oxygen environment. The technology is important for people coming from sea level because people who live at sea level are unacclimatized to our high altitude environments in the mountains. So they come up here and being unacclimatized, they often get the symptoms of altitude sickness. One of the biggest ones is insomnia. And in fact, many times we're seeing people who feel fine during the day but when they're trying to sleep at night, the altitude-induced insomnia kicks in and they have difficulty sleeping. I'm Dr. Peter Hackett. I'm a high-altitude specialist. There's a number of what we call the high-altitude illnesses. Acute mountain sickness is the most common, which feels like a bad hangover. So what causes the most common type of altitude sickness is the dilation of the blood vessels in the brain in order to deliver more oxygen to the brain. When the blood vessels in the brain dilate, it's painful. The best treatment for symptoms of altitude illness or trouble sleeping is an oxygen-rich environment. Medications work as well, but they have side effects. Oxygen has no side effects. There's no downside to using oxygen. A lot more people should be using it. Really interesting is it doesn't have to be 24 hours a day. Just sleeping in an oxygen-rich environment can help combat problems with sleeping, adjust to the altitude in a much more gradual and symptom-free way, treat mountain sickness, and probably very importantly, it can control the effect of altitude on pre-existing conditions like high blood pressure, lung disease, heart disease, seizures, migraines, all sorts of things. The installation of the system is really pretty straightforward. It's usually a two-day installation, and there are two parts to the system. There is an air separation device that extracts oxygen from ordinary air, it runs it through a molecular sieve, and then takes that oxygen and puts it into the bedroom. The second part of the system is a control system, and the control system is comprised of a computer-like system that integrates with sensors for oxygen, CO2, barometric pressure. And all together, this will simulate altitude, and you can select any altitude you want. When the system's up and running, the system's virtually silent, you don't hear anything, and you don't see anything in your room. Everyone knows that when you put oxygen into a confined space that you can increase fire risk. And we knew that when we were building the system. So we worked with the National Fire Protection Association and they have a standard for how much oxygen you can put into a space. Now this is a very complex algorithm that's dependent on barometric pressure. And barometric pressure is constantly changing. So our system senses barometric pressure and then adjusts the oxygen level accordingly so that we never have any increase in fire risk. Our technology has been used by a lot of different clients. So our systems are used for research at Harvard Medical School and Mayo Clinic, for example. Naval Air Systems Command and the FAA use our systems for pilot training. Sometimes we have to create higher altitudes for our clients. We also have systems at use at the Smithsonian and even in the palaces in Dubai. I support this technology because it works. It's effective, it's safe. It's done in a way that assures safety by controlling the environment very carefully so that carbon dioxide can't build up, oxygen doesn't get too high to cause fire danger, and uh, can't get low enough to cause altitude problems. And uh, I recommend it as a way to counteract the effects of altitude that's very safe and effective. Our goal is to make you feel better in the mountains, and if a little oxygen can help that, please give us a call. We'd be happy to come out for a consult and uh, see how oxygen can make you feel better.